Hi there, Steve Stein here, and this is going to be a real quick tutorial on self-esteem by the offspring. So in order to play this, what we're really going to be doing is just playing power chords. And so what I'm going to do real quick is just show you the shapes that you need to learn uh, in order to play this song. So the first one is the beginning of the song, which goes... <laughs> So what we're doing is, we're going to start off on the 5th fret of the 6th string with a power chord. Now you could use a 2 finger or a 3 finger, it doesn't really make any difference. And then you're going to head to the 8th fret of the 5th string. So remember, when you're up there making a power chord, don't strum the 6th string. Okay, and then you're going to head down to 3, and again, there's lots of ways you could visualize this. I'm just showing you uh, the way I'm looking at this. So I'm going from 5 on the 6th string, to 8 on the 5th string, to 3 on the 5th string, and then I'm just jumping up to three on the sixth string. So this is my initial shape. Okay, then we come off of that. Uh, the last time I'm going to move down to the first fret, which is F, the power chord, and I'm going to strum it and then start palm muting it, then slowly come out of the palm mute like this. So you just want to kind of build at the end if you can. And then I'm going to move up to the third fret and I'm going to. Really what happens is you've got just two strums, but it kind of depends on how it feels to you. So when you come up. So if you can scratch and strum, it sounds pretty cool. If you want to strum twice, like that, it's okay. Okay. Again, the goal is just to kind of figure out how it, how it looks, how it feels, and then match it with what you're hearing in your head. So I've got this. Sorry. And then last time I go. And then I'm going to end on A, the fifth fret of the sixth string. Just hit that once and let it go. Now, later on in the song, in the verses, when you're not playing, all of a sudden you're going to go to the tenth fret of the fifth string and you're going to go. So you're going to again scratch, strum, scratch, strum, or strum it twice. Whatever's comfortable for you. Then you start doing the verse by doing a palm mute. Now you're going to be playing the 5, 8, 3, 3 like you normally do, but you're doing this rhythm. Okay, so what's happening there is you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 on each one, so you're going 5 on the 5th fret of the 6th string, and 5 on the 8th fret of the 5th string. Then you're going to move down to 3 and 3 here. Okay, that's how that section is going to go. And then we come out of that. Uh, we're going to, again, build out of the end of that into the chorus. So we're going... And you can just sort of let off on the palm muting and move into strumming back into... Okay. Now I know this is quick, I, I, I'm right in between lessons here, so I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible here, but that's how that section is going to go. And then you end, there's one more section for you. It's this part. Okay, and what you're doing there is you're going from the 5th fret of the 5th string, down to 1, up to 1 on the 6th string, and then you're going over to the third fret of the fifth string. So you're making kind of an X there. So you're going from five on the fifth string to one on the fifth string, up to one on the sixth string, and then cross over to three on the fifth string. Okay? So you're doing that six times, I believe, and the seventh time, so this is the, the six times. And it has very much a Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana kind of strum to it. Last time, the seventh time is going to go five, one, but then instead of going up to one, you're not. You're going to go five, one, three, up to three, like this. And then you go to the one. And you're going to do that same thing. It leads you back into the beginning of the song again. Okay? So first section is the... Leading into right, and then
And then every once in a while we've got these, which is the 10th fret of the fifth string. Then you've got your palm mutes, which is the same chords as the intro. Okay, it's just that you're palm muting this time. And then you get this new section going five, one, one, three, six times, I do believe it is. And then the seventh one is different. The seventh one is five, one, three, three, one. Okay, so. So needless to say, the most important thing is to know the song. If you're not very familiar with it, you want to listen to it a number of times, get out a pen and a piece of paper, and then just write down these sections as I explain them. For most of my students, I don't even really have them do tab. They'll just write down, you know, six down below. They'll, they'll go like five, and then eight, and then three, and then three. So they're just writing the numbers, like if the number is the lowest on the page, it means a six string. Because all we're playing is six string and fifth string power chords, right? So I just write a five down here, and then next to it I write an eight a little higher, and then three a little higher, and then a three a little lower again, so you can just see which string you're supposed to be on. If it's easier to write it in tablature form, that's okay too, but learn it in pieces.